I didn't have to go easy on you. A different binding agent, a different mix. I just want you to remember that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm taking a look at the Batman Arkham City Play Arts Kai action figure number four. That's Batman The Dark Knight Return skin. Uh, basically, it's a playable skin that was available in the Batman Arkham City video game. And I am a huge, huge fan of the um, Dark Knight Returns uh, comics and the Dark Knight Returns uh, DVD, uh, part one and part two. The Frank Miller Batman is superb. This box is uh, pretty big and my tripod again is kaput. So I'll take you a quick look around the box. Really, really nice artwork on the box. Again, Batman Arkham City. On the back there we have various information. There's Robin, obviously I've already got Robin. Uh, basically this isn't for kids, and it's by Square Enix, and there's some pretty awesome poses of him you can do. Opening up the box, you've got the bio of Batman, resurrected by rage. Basically uh, he's had enough of Gotham and he puts on the uh, suit again. And no Batman in there, that's because I was like a huge kid, and as soon as this arrived from Kapow Toys, I got him straight out of the box and had a good old play. So, um, yep, let's take a look at him. Doodly -doo. And here he is. Captain Awesome himself. This is by far one of the sexiest Batman sculpt. Sexy Batman? Ah, not really the sort of thing I should be called saying. Um, one of the best Batman sculpts I've seen for a long time. Uh, obviously, in the comics, he wasn't weathered and worn like this. It was kind of a smooth costume. Uh, I, think it was, I think it was a fairly smooth costume in the uh, in the TV show as well. But obviously, this is based on the on the game skin. So let's just focus in. There we go. And that is a phenomenal head sculpt. Really, really awesome detailing there. Almost like a stubble there, and he really does look like an aged Batman. Even wrinkles through the cowl. Loved it. He's got a bit of a pointy nose. It's like, Meh. I love the way they've even sculpted the ears, to make sure they're visible through the, uh, the cowl. Oh, they've done such a good job. Got full range of movement on his head there. Really good turn, and they've got this separated neck joint as well, so you can. It's not good, not a great deal of movement on it, but it's enough. It kind of slides and rocks. So it's, it's nice to have have that little bit of extra movement there. Superb paint apps. I love the tint of blue throughout the cape. Almost like really beefed up shoulder pads there. But these are, they are just rubber. They're quite a thick rubber, so there isn't a lot of flex to them, but there is enough movement there to get good range on his shoulders. Lovely uh, textured finish to the Batman logo. Great ab crunch there, if not a little bit loose, maybe. I think that's mainly because of the weight of him. You've got, I see a pivot on there as well. No single pivot um, below the belt. The belt itself is, is separate, I think, but just really tight. Again, really nice detailing on that belt. Loads of nice pouches. Kind of given up with his gizmos and gadgets. He's more a bit of a brawler now. With his hands gain, really nice sculpting on the gauntlets. Um, a lot of people have complained about the ball joints. Yeah, they shouldn't have made them black. They should have been grey. Um, would have been a lot better hidden. Because they are a bit prominent, aren't they? There we go, let's have them in punchy punchy mode. Really nice joints on the on the legs. Good all round movement there. Open. There's not like a 360 degree or anything like that because uh, wow, 
people can't do that. Good movement on the knees again. And ew, play arts Kai knee joint there. So woo -hoo. not a fan of that knee joint. On the ankle, loads of movement there. And if you just pivot it, you've got pivot and goodness knows what and a swivel toe. Really nice. With the shoulders, again they are hindered by the uh, the cape, but you've got a really tight joint. Oh, super tight. Kind of as about as far up as it goes. They don't come out very far. You've got a swivel on the bicep. You do have that rocker joint butterfly there. So it can go forward and back slowly. The cape is quite thick, so it is hindering a lot of that movement. Got a single joint ball on the uh, elbow. And you've got a swivel and a pivot on the wrist. Now Batman doesn't come with a great deal of accessories. He comes with an alternative hand, which I've already put on here. This hand doesn't come as standard. He comes with a fist on both hands, which again is sculpted really nicely, painted up pretty well, does look like a leather glove. Um, he comes with like almost a Wolverine style gauntlet with the, uh, well now, I know I said the Batarangs isn't it, but it does look like kind of blades. Getting ready to pose, kind of to throw his Batarangs. And again just an open an open hand for his uh, his left hand. That's so he can hold his batarang. And this is the batarang. Again, really nice sculpt here. I love how they've actually even sculpted the rope. A couple of handles. It's gone really back to old school. None of these fancy Nancy gizmos and gadgets. It's really, really nice. Now, to hold it, again with the Play Arts Kai figures, it's a matter of removing the hands, apply pressure on the ball, and just twist the hand. Now, what I do like about these figures is they've increased the thickness of the wrist pegs. They were prone to breaking, and they've increased the thickness of them, so does make it a little bit more difficult to twist the hands on but overall the fear of breaking is now gone so we can just put say this one um, they don't really give you a lot of room in this hand to get the knot in there's not a lot of flex on the uh, not a lot of flex on this knot, so maybe we can just have to if we put the knot in the really wide open hand then like that, and then put the thinner knot over in this hand. Maybe that will go in a little bit easier. Or not. <laughs> not, do you like what I did there? No, no, me neither. Urgh. So yeah, this is how not to do it. Ah, a little bit tied up with this. Oh, come on. How hard can it be to put... Ah. Look at that, really, really easy. Goes and, no, oh, you're kidding me. Ah! So yeah, <laughs> that easily goes in his hands with no problems or issues whatsoever. Looks really good, doesn't it? Let's put him over here, get him in focus. Really, really like the look of that. He's such a stern beefcake. He really, really is. 
really like it. By far the best sculpting on any of the Play Archive figures that I own. I can't believe how beefy he is. He's just a beast. A true beast. And here he is with his brethren. We have the Play Arts Kai Series 1 Arkham Asylum Batman. And a huge, huge thanks to Dan Waterhouse for He Bats. He Batman. Done me a really good deal on him. A figure I've wanted for a long time. And uh, by the time I'd paid him, it was pretty much on my doorstep. So cracking, cracking guy. He looks the part. I mean, he is such a big Batman. Really, really, really pleased I got him. And at a fraction of the cost of most other stores. I mean, Kapow were doing him for, I think it was £33. And it's a steal. A complete steal. So if you want a superposable beefcake of a Batman, highly detailed, at a fraction of the cost of other companies. Look no further than the Play Arts Kai, Arkham City, Dark Knight Returns, skinned Batman. Thanks for watching guys, until next time, goodbye.